Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Adobe Tutorial Man. So I'll be teaching you on copy and pasting a text. Let's get started. I'm using Adobe Flash. Yes, we're professional. Yes, you can use this on CS3 and CS2. I'm not sure about CS2, but give it a try. Go on Action Script 3.0. We're gonna create a text field across our stage, and we want to be an input text. Input text. Make it a little big and hit height. And shrink down the 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 wording where we don't want our writer to be. And we're gonna copy this and we're just gonna click Alt Control L Alt and on our windows and we'll copy it. As you see, you like so. And we're gonna name this the first one in input box underscore txt and box next one we're gonna name it output box underscore txt and we're gonna put make a button about any size and I'm gonna make a static and I'm just gonna name it copy and paste put in the middle and I'm just going to convert this to a uh, button clicking F8 or right clicking and go down to convert the symbol and I'm going to type in copy paste at I mean lot underscore btn button we want it to be a type button registration in the middle and I'm just going to go on so the copy and paste at, at properties and we're going to put an instance name I'm just going to put a copy paste underscore btn same thing as you put it on your uh, your library name so anyway, go click on the first frame in the main timeline, and we're gonna type in input input box underscore txt dot all always always show selection shift nine um, mouse oh oh uh, sorry supposed to be equals through semicolon. Next we're gonna put we're gonna, we're gonna go down to line three. Copy paste underscore BT BTN TN stands for button dot add event listener and just one second I have to point out that if you do not you if you're using Action Square 3.0 and you do not insert the properties uh, instance name, it will not work. And that's just a tip. Go back to the action panel. And I'm going to put it mouse event. Event. I'm going to put dot click in caps. Or click. Semicolon. I mean comma. Make paste. Paste, shift zero semicolon. Next line, we're gonna put function. I'm gonna put make, paste. I'm gonna put shift nine. Uh, my event. Shift, shift semicolon mouse event. Um, shift zero shift semicolon void. I'm gonna put shift semi, I mean, uh, cr open curly bracket. Next line, var my start, my start, shift semicolon, number, number, equals input text, input box, input box underscore txt and right here is 
the these two right here. That's supposed to be the name of your. Uh, say if you name this box one, and you name this one box two. So you're either going to go into your actions. Instead, you're going to put box one and box one. So there you go. I'm going to put dot, dot selection beginning index. Uh, I believe it's semicolon. Yeah, semicolon. Next, we're going to put var my end. Var, yeah, var my end. And put shift semicolon number. And the my is supposed to be together. Number equals input box. As I said, if, say, if your input box is box one, box one, the number equals box one. That's what if you want to put it, that's fine. Name it anything. As long as you have these two, these two right here, the name of the same thing as you put it in your input. That's the last time I'm going to repeat it. And dot text select and index semicolon. And next time we're going to put copied var copied copied text str semicolon string uh, equals in put box underscore txt dot uh, underscore txt dot text dot sub String, substring, shift nine, I believe it is, yeah, my start, comma, my end, shift, shift nine, semicolon, and shift zero, semicolon. Next line, those are going to be our last line, output, and this is our same, this is right here. Output, whatever it is, output, yeah, output, and output box underscore txt dot text equals copied text semicolon, uh, and then we're going to put a closed curly bracket, check, click the check, Mark button. Ooh, I should only put two. Click the check. And the script continues no errors. That's a really good thing. Shift F9 to get out of there. I'm going to press Control Enter to test it. As you see, there's no pop ups. And if we type something, hello. And Now, if we select the whole thing, select the whole thing, and press copy and paste, it copies it and it pastes it, and it comes right through the output box. And if you want to lower the size of the wording, let's go right ahead on each box. Now we press Control Enter. As you see, it's smaller. And hello. And welcome to this tutorial. Check out Adobe. www.adobetutorialman.com and select the whole thing, copy and paste, and there we have it. It's a little bit smaller because I didn't do exact thing, but that's how you do this. 
and I hope this really helped help me. And subscribe, rate, comment, and bye.